on Scorpion Island. Coming up... It's the boys versus the girls on the abandoned ship. What's that? I don't know. Yeah, you might want to think about time here and get down pretty quickly. I can't take this thing off. But who will win? The winners are... Welcome to day two of 19 on Scorpion Island, the island with a sting in its tail. Scorpion Island is tough and unpredictable. For the next three weeks, our adventurers will need strength, courage and mental skill to conquer the island's challenges and escape. Yesterday, the island told them to jump out of helicopters over 30 metres above the ocean and they had no idea what was in the waters below. Most of them coped well with the challenge. I just enjoyed it, you know, because this once-in-a-lifetime thing, because I'm not going to be doing it again. It's amazing, because the scenery is beautiful when you're up there. But it wasn't so easy for Barbara. Her grip was too low, and she nearly slipped under the chopper. Then they faced the challenge of their mental strength. They all had to walk across burning coals. Aisha realised how tough Scorpion Island can be. All of the adventurers lit the island cauldron fire. This is how the island will communicate with them over the next three weeks. What the adventurers don't know is that at the end of this week, the island is going to divide them into two teams and make them race against each other to be the first off the island. But at the moment, they have no idea. Earlier today, Barbara was selected by the island to leave beach camp. And they think she's been taken off the island. But she hasn't gone anywhere. Barbara is the first member of a new team at Secret Camp. While all the others are at beach camp. And they haven't got a clue she's there. And she'll be spying on the others all day long. And better still, she gets to pick one of the four adventurers taking part in today's island challenge to join her in Secret Camp. The name of that challenge was revealed in the rings last night. As our adventurers turn the rings of the cauldron, the island revealed the name of the island challenge. Abandoned ship. The adventurers still don't know what this challenge is all about. The island also revealed the names of the two adventurers taking part. It was James and Aisha. <laughs> Aisha and James then decided who they wanted to join them in the challenge. Aisha chose first. Guys, I've been thinking about this all night and I've decided to choose... Hayley. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then it was James's turn to pick his partner. The person who I've chosen is... Now all four adventurers have to take on the abandoned ship. A mysterious ship has travelled to Scorpion Island. It has drifted through the mists of time and when they cleared, it was in the waters just off the island. Our adventurers will be boarding this vessel very soon. 
They'll be 30 meters in the air while the ship sways beneath them. It's going to be tough. This challenge will test their head to heights. Oh, what's that? I don't know. I want to think about time here and get down pretty quickly. I can't take this thing off. But who will win? Will it be the boys or the girls? That's coming up real soon, but first it's time for the daily camp challenge. Now, the camp challenge won't help the guys escape from the island, but it will make it a lot more fun. Now, our adventurers look a bit too relaxed. I think it's time to give them a challenge. camp challengers say goodbye to the adventurers who we'll see doing the island challenge later on. Let's take a look at today's camp challengers. Kieran. It's definitely going to be fun, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be amazing. Joe. Uh, I think that'll be the best thing, like, trying to work as a team. Oscar. I'm confident that I'm going to work with people very well. And Helen. I think that some of the things that they're going to make us do are just going to be like really deadly. They're wearing blindfolds so it's a surprise and nothing is being revealed before they start the game. They're travelling up the river to uncharted waters deep in the heart of Scorpion Island. It's Memory Row. I love this game. Okay, guys, now take a look just over there. There are 16 different coloured boys. There's a shoe tied to each one. All our challengers have to do is find four pairs. The guys will be getting in their dinghies, paddling between the boys and trying to remember what shoe is where and bringing back the pairs as they find them. And at stake, a fantastic Hawaiian party for everyone at beach camp. If they lose, the secret camp get the party instead. Okay, the island is always ready. Are you guys ready? Ready. 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 Okay, guys, here we go. Three, two... The clock's ticking. It's two at a time and Helen and Oscar are up first. I'm going, I'm going. Oscar's first to a boy. Can Helen strike lucky and find another roller boot? What do you got? I've got a boot. That's not right. No, put it back. Okay. Now the all important thing to remember is which shoe is where. They could need one of these at any second. Joe and Kieran are next. Keep thinking. Remember everything you pull out. Stella one. What you got? Put it away. Big cowboy boot. So Kieran needs to find a cowboy boot as well. Kieran. A big fucking great boot. Yeah, that. Wait, you go for that. Now that's bad luck, but we have seen both boots now. Time's going, guys. Everything depends on Oscar and Helen to remember where they are. Oscar, where are you going? This one. Black boot. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Hey. Right, bring them in, guys. Oh, awesome. That's the first pair. Brilliant. Remember, we need four pairs. Oh. The time's going oh. fast. Think about it. Is that right? Is that right, Kieran? It wasn't. Helen, Helen. Oh, no! Go for the... Right, this, come back in. You need to come back in. Person. Kieran's memory is playing tricks on him. We haven't even seen the other red shoe yet. the second pair but there's less than three minutes left on the clock and there's still two pairs to find 
the island won't be treating them with a party if they fail this challenge. High heels! Silver high heels! I don't believe it. Right, we've got silver high heels. Kieran's memory is still letting him down. Joe's already shown us that cowboy boot. Come on, Oscar, get paddling. Joe, which ones have you done? It's the purple one. What? It's the purple one, Oscar. Helen, just go for the yellow. Go. Try it. They really need to hurry up. That's the same cowboy boot again. Concentrate, guys. Hold it up high. Wait. Wait. Could have done with the other cowboy boot, but at least Oscar's not showing us the same shoes again and again. Time is going, guys. Still need two oh, pairs. Right. Right. Give him wait till Joe gets the yellow one. Wait, the purple. Yeah. It's the That's the other welly. Let's hope Kieran's memory is better this time. You got, you got a pair? Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Get it in, get it in, your time's going. They've got three pairs with just under a minute and a half to go. Uh, go for that orange one over there. Okay, Guys, you need one more pair, your time is going. They've done well. They've got three pairs already, but is there enough time to get the last one? But now Helen's being forgetful. Mountain boot. Joe's already shown us that. I think that was a big fat boot. Just a pair. Cowboy. Not a pair, but at least Oscar's found the other cowboy boot. Joe, get that yellow, I'll get that one. The pressure's really mounting up on Kieran now. His memory has clearly been the weakest, but there's simply not time for any more mistakes. Keep trying to get small. Joe, check it! Alright oh, guys, your time's going. Be fast. It's what just is a pair. It? Cowboy! That's it, that's Cowboy! It. They've got both cowboy boots. Kieran's memory came good in the end. That's the last pair, but have they got time to get it back? Right, get it in. You haven't got long. Guys. They did it with just five seconds to go. You've done it. You've won yourself an evening treat. Congratulations. Yay. Well done, guys. Kieran, I'd say your memory is all over the place to start with. Blue one. No, the orange one. <laughs> no, the yellow one. Was it harder than you thought? Yeah, it was. It's a, it's a basic idea, but the actually doing it's quite hard. Yeah, spoken like a true bluffer, mate. So why don't you head back to base, and we'll see you in a little bit, all right? Later. Okay. Don't fall in on your way home. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. Bye. Bye. So by finding the four pairs of shoes, they've guaranteed a Hawaiian beach party for everyone. Meanwhile, Barbara's over at the secret camp, getting ready to watch the island challenge. She'll be keeping a close eye on who's weak and who's strong, because later on today, she'll get to pick one of the island challengers to join her at secret camp. it's boys versus girls for this challenge and the teams will be competing to see which is the bravest their challenge is to climb up this terrifyingly high rigging and swap three black flags for three red ones whichever team completes this the quickest wins the challenge and of the losers one will leave tonight All right, guys, there is a lot to think about right now, so why don't we have ourselves a gameplay discussion? Go for it. Right, so yeah. you'll go, you'll go and then you'll off. Yeah, and then join us. And then I'll down. come down. I'll come down. This is going to be a toughie. And don't forget, Barbara is going to be watching from sea. 
secret cap to choose someone to join her tonight. They don't know that. Oh, I think they've had enough time. Come on, mate. All right, guys, we've had enough time to have your gameplay discussion. So let's decide who is going to go first. Now, Haley, you're standing closest to me. What are you going to go for? Are you going to go for Sting or are you going to go for Claw? Sting. Sting it is. It's Sting. Looks like you guys are going to go first. Okay, guys, you're going to need to get out of the way. So jump down. Okay, the island is always ready. Adventurers, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Three, Three two, two, one, go! Go! Go on, girl. You're behind me. The girls are off to a great start. They're making light work of that rigging. Wait for me to go. Go! Got it. Whoa. And then you're reaching the first flag. Now the difficult part is getting from the ladder to the actual net when yeah. you've got to replace the flag. Hang on. They've got to be so careful, but they really can't afford to waste any time. Haley's made it, but Aisha seems to be struggling getting across the netting. Have they been too slow? I'm trying to oh, oh, flag first. All right, hold it steady for her, Haley. You can do it. I know it's all right. You can do it. Just go onto my hand. Take my hand. It's not letting me fumble. Oh, I come up. Hold on. Oh. Haley's lent a helping hand there, but it's cost them precious seconds. Asia? Right, you don't want to leave that black flag, guys. Remember, you have to swap them. At that height, the wind makes everything difficult. One sec. Got the flag. Well Yay! done! Well done, it's the first flag, but there is still loads to do. You need to get a little bit of room, remember? You just watch the rope. I'll run with it. We're going to stand up. Okay, I need to do that. I'll run with it. Oh, is that in your pal? Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. It looks easy, but it's difficult that far up. Okay, I'm going to do this one now, okay? Careful now, Aisha. Okay, don't. Can okay, you hold on to that? Yeah, sure. Ooh, this is giving me a wedgie. It's not coming. All right, okay, slide back and grab the red flag. Grab it. Aisha can't quite do it. So Haley steps in to help her out. Got it. There you right. go. Here. Here. You take it. Let's fly. Okay. You get that one. Yeah. I'll hold the door, okay? Thank you. Perfect. That's the second flag. But they really need to hurry up. Now this looks like a really tough bit. Getting off of that netting onto the ladder. Need to get your two legs over here. Hello. The gouache this. Need to get your two legs and slide up. Okay. That's good advice there from Haley. Oh, box up. Okay. Woo! Are you ready, Aisha? I'm ready. Go. Oh! What snapped? I don't know. What snapped? You're all right. Don't worry about it. It's just the flag slipping down. I think oh. it was the flag something. Yeah, it was the flag. All right, okay. okay. But will Haley let it get to her? Oh, God. It's all right. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky. You can do it. I'm oh, oh, I'm tangled with it. Shove it on the, oh, over the edge. Put, put your legs over the edge of it. And then grab, grab, lean over. That. All right, okay. Oh, um, it makes you, whatever makes you feel okay. safer. This is work is working. Haley is racing ahead, but has Aisha slowed them down just too much? Come on, Aisha. Coming down. Careful, don't get tangled in your flag. There, I just done that. So just watch out for it. 
Come on, girls. Just one flag to go. Hurry up, Haley. Oh, no. <laughs> Long. Go, go. Haley's made it to the bottom there. Should she be running on or should she wait for Asia? Can I go and do it? They're approaching the third flag at the very end of the bow. Whoa! Here it comes. Oh no, one step. Asia's in trouble again. Got to clip that red one on. Oh, come on. Where's the other one? Done it! Woohoo! Well done, girl. Aisha and Haley have made it. Let's have another look at how they did. They made a good start there. They managed to race ahead. They swapped the first flag very quickly, 30 meters up, with the ship swaying beneath them. Whoa. What's that? I don't know. Even though it was Haley who had a nasty slip, it's Asia that slows them down. Well, they've completed this challenge, but have they done it quick enough? All right, so that's it. The girls have done a great job, but just how well will the boys do? Let's find out. Go on, lads. Sam's off to a quick start. James does need to be just slightly behind. All we have to do. Yeah. They are getting up that ladder really quick. I'm fine behind you, James. What? All right. Sam and James are showing absolutely no fear. That is so high up, they could slip at any moment, and that would mean game over. All right, guys, now remember, you've got to swap those flags. Hey. Yep. Massive amount of teamwork, guys. Oh, look at this. While Sam is unhooking this flag, James is already on his way to the next flag. It's a very different tactic from the girls. Now, is this going to be harder to do individually, or is this going to save them precious seconds? James is struggling with his flag. Will he slow Sam down too much? I can't take this thing off. Are the boys doing enough to ensure that one of the girls will leave the camp tonight? Precious time is ticking away. It's not easy to keep your balance when the sea is swaying beneath you. They've done it! Now the tricky bit, getting off the netting. Look. Wait. Now they're on their way to the third flag. So good. Is he actually standing up? Yeah. He stands on that rope. <sighs> Is Sam just taking too long to climb down? Pretty Sam, this is it. Do this. Get ready. You okay? Yep. 
James is off already. He's on there. They already made a plan, didn't they? And who's going to do what? Go, go, go. Exactly what was going to go on before they even went up there. Let's kind of look. All right, this is it, the all-important final flag. The boys have been really quick. James is having trouble with this flag as well. It'll be terrible for the boys if it all went wrong for them right at the end. A good plan there. Sam and James completed. Let's have another little look. The boys wasted no time in climbing up the ladder. James's tactic to split them both up may have paid off. But he struggled swapping the second flag, which may have cost them precious time. Have the boys done enough to ensure they stay at beach camp? the sun sets on the island, we're about to reveal the winners and losers of today's island challenge. Okay, guys, well done from completing the challenges. You feeling all right? Yeah. 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 Goody good. Now, one team completed the challenge quicker than the other team. The winners and the team definitely going back to beach camp tonight are... Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Congratulations, Sam and James. You guys are definitely spending another night in beach camp, so let's go back now. Come on. See ya. See you in a bit. The boys go back to beach camp, but it's not all over for day two. Who will Barbara decide to join her at the secret camp? One of you will not be going back to beach camp tonight. Oh, dear. Find out who it is next time on Escape from Scorpion Island. Next time. Barbara decides on who she wants to join her in secret camp. Okay. The person not returning to beach camp tonight is going to be revealed very soon, and Helen's not happy. I can't believe another girl has gone. It's not fair. And we find out the name of tomorrow's island challenge and who's taking part. If you feel you have as much skill as the adventurers, you can get access to exclusive clips of tomorrow's challenge by solving our online riddle of the scorpion. Every day there's going to be a different puzzle to crack, and if you succeed, you'll be directed to a hidden message from the island. Check out the CBBC channel for more, and then go to bbc.co.uk slash CBBC.